Hi everyone, I'm going camping again. So I am so excited. I'm always excited when I go camping, but I'm going to the river, going back to Kings River where I was last and that's going to be awesome because it's super hot still. I mean, summer is here and that's the only place to be at the water. And the other reason I'm excited is that I'm going to be camping with some people so that's really cool because it doesn't really happen too often only once in a while for me i always come by myself and i know we're not supposed to be doing that we still have to social distance and everything but to be honest with you between you and me i'm kind of over it and i think everybody else is and we'll be outdoors we're going to keep six feet distance or more as much as we can and that's all i have to say about that the third reason that I'm excited is that I'm going to go whitewater rafting and this will be my first time. So that is very, very cool. And this will also be Misha's first time. I'm only bringing Misha and I bought her a life vest. It's really cool. She looks like a little hot dog in it. We already tried it on and everything. So this weekend will be really nice I have about two hours to drive and I actually have to find my my camping partner I know where he or they will be I just have to go campsite to campsite to find them but I'm pretty sure I will so here is another awesome weekend <laughs> And this is Scott, and he's cooking dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow it's my turn. So this will be something different. I never eat shrimp, so oh, this I is gonna be a once in a while <laughs> thing mm -hmm. happening. And then of course I have Misha, she's the chef in training. <laughs> she's always so concentrating on everything. So I sleep in that tent. And he apparently likes to sleep in his truck, so that's a very new concept <laughs> for me. I bet it's comfortable, but I like the tent. A bone pad and a feather mattress. Yeah? <laughs> okay, let's look in here. Oh, wow. And a book. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So this is Bear Wallow. I actually have camped here many times. One time I camped here with my daughter and we were roasting bacon, Hungarian style. That was like a year and a half ago. So I have some good memories here. And we're gonna have a campfire right there. And here is the water and all the rafting equipment, which I know nothing about, but I'm going to learn tomorrow, I think. Are there holes in here? Uh oh. I see holes in it. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> it's very old. Oh my gosh. That's great. Well, we'll see tomorrow. <laughs> and that is a beautiful sunset. Why are you jumping on people? Okay, mommy doesn't 
we do. So how are we gonna paddle? You, you got to make sure I don't float away. Okay. <laughs> Sit on the outside of the boat, not in here. Steady. One foot under there, one foot back on the sword. You're thinking about keeping your, your weight on your feet because it's going to be dynamic and moving. You can stay in this boat if you want to. And when you're paddling, it's another place that's one person, so you'll stay in the boat. When we see that big wave coming, that's when you get big and mean and smash through it. Otherwise, you're in the way. The forward paddle like this. There's a back paddle like this. You guys are my motor, I'm the rudder back here, okay? You guys up front have to set the show for everybody. Everybody paddles together. So, if it looks like we're gonna hit something or something's gonna go bad, or I'm gonna say lean in. So what you do is you just go like that, try to get on in. But don't smash your buddy. If you do fall out, grab the line. If you get a little bit away from the boat, reach your paddle out. You just came from the boat. Try to get it back to it. If you do find yourself away from the boat, continue to swim back to the boat or swim to whichever way I'm pointing. The guides will always point positive. We're never going to go, watch out for Death Rock. We're going to be able to This was a lot of fun. Like I mentioned earlier, this was my first time and it's a little bit scary. I mean, it's really nice. The chances of the boat flipping over is very, very, very slim, but they tell you all about it because it could happen and things could go wrong and you need to be prepared. So after you hear that, it's just like, oh my gosh, oh my God, should I be scared? But it was very nice. Um, Misha was going crazy first she was just a little bit uncomfortable probably a little bit scared and then she got more and more comfortable and I have mentioned in previous videos she loves to just go in the water and bite the waves just keeps biting them and she was starting to do that here and I had to hold her because she started to get kind of I wouldn't say aggressive but just so crazy about it that it looked like she was gonna actually jump into the water in the middle of all those waves and everything going on and that made it more scary for me at the end we actually stopped twice once for a break and then once for lunch so this was sort of like an all-day thing and each time we got back into the boat she just felt more and more comfortable and she enjoyed herself more and more but she got more crazy and towards the end I just like had to hold her so hard I actually had to hold her by her collar and a couple of times it was really scary because I'm sitting on the side and and she was trying so much to get to the waves that I could have easily flipped over so that made it a little bit harder um, if we're going tomorrow I will just put her in the crate and I'm not taking her because it's, it's just too much too risky but um, but otherwise it was it was very nice and very scary at times I know I said that already but it's definitely a one-of-a-kind experience so I'm very glad I got to do this What do you see? Is it good? <laughs> it 
All right, we're gonna flip it one more time. Good morning. Good morning. So I had this tick in my shoulder. I did not know it was a tick. I woke up super sore in my left shoulder and I thought I saw something bloody. And Scott was like, that's a tick. And I was like, no way. I couldn't see it. And then when I pulled it out, I saw these little legs. I don't know if you could see it, but that is so gross. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? Course. Course. Does he have a name? Course. Oh, Course is his like name? Here, yeah. Does he listen to it? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Hi. We're going to go on a boat today. That is so interesting. Oh my God. On a leash, too. <laughs> Heck of cool. Hey. He's a ham. He knows when the camera is on him. Oh my gosh, he loves it, huh? And then we have oh, that doggy yeah, over yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, it's karma. Remember, if, if you happen to swim, don't like stand up on the side here. Just swim until you grab the rocks and pull yourself out. Okay, because people die from foot attacks. Put them in a rock and it'll push them over. Okay, all right. This second time was so much more enjoyable than the first and it was because I did not have Misha with me. So I would say do not bring a dog unless the dog is used to it. I mean, that was another dog on the boat and she was totally chill. She was actually sometimes just standing up and 
didn't look like she was gonna jump but she has been doing this for a long time so how would I know there are some dogs that will be naturally great some have to learn it and get used to it and some dogs will just never be able to do it so I would say I wouldn't really want to deal with Misha in the boat so I had her in the crate and she was fine and I did not have to split my attention between holding her constantly pretty much 80% of the time I was holding her the first time and trying to paddle and trying to hold onto the boat and everything now we had those crazy crazy big waves and I was just able to really just ride those waves it was so awesome we got splashed so many times there were maybe a couple of scary moments really not so bad yesterday there were more so yesterday I said well this is not something I would want to do all the time now I'm saying that yeah I could definitely do this much more often so I will probably be back in a couple of weeks and do it again and each time Misha will have to stay behind but this was really nice was great experience I didn't really know anybody either day you just a couple of people the first day and then we had Scott's friends um, come camp with us so I knew a lot more but it didn't matter everybody was super friendly super nice it was an awesome weekend I'm definitely glad that I was able to do this I am very lucky because you don't just have something like this come along and say hey come raft with us so I am super happy and very grateful that I was able to do this I am all packed up and ready to go my camping partner is still not back yet because it actually takes a lot of effort and a lot of things to make rafting happen I mean you need to have several vehicles because you need to have a vehicle at your starting point so you can't really do this by yourself I don't know how you would do it so you need to have a few people at least um, coordinate this and your options are you're either going to pay one of these services there are so many around or maybe you have some friends and then you can go with them otherwise you're kind of stuck so this was a really cool weekend this was a lot of first first of all I had my first tick you can still see it right here it's still red and it's right on top of my collarbone and it hurts so bad it feels like as if someone punched me and I was told that the ticks that we have around here they actually hurt like that so I'm kind of grateful for that because otherwise I would not have known and it's just it's really weird so that was the first my first water rafting happened this weekend and also it was Misha's first so this was definitely a different type of weekend a lot of fun it was really cool I finally also camped with sort of like a group not even just one person but um, Saturday night we had three more um, so it was really really nice but now it's time to go home and get back to reality tomorrow is Monday so we are back to work <laughs> thank you so much for watching I will see you guys next time